Poor thing. Oh no, do I have to get to fix it? Hi there. Colonel Emiliov. Ah, Miss Walker. Uh, gate. Tell me, Colonel, why is there a gate blocking off the staircase leading to the lower part of the town? Low down is low down, and high up is high up. People who are low down got different points of view from those who are high up. Different kettle, different fish. If you get my meaning, Mr. No, Walker. no, I did not get your meaning at all. Colonel, would you have the key to the gate? Ah, uh, no. Not anymore. Must have lost it earlier. When I was wasting my time on that dang music machine. Who can say? Hey, it isn't my fault. You being here has upset my usual timetable and general routine. If you hadn't been here, I wouldn't have gone out. And then I wouldn't have lost the key. Wow, it's not her fault. So you haven't got the key then? Sorry to say. If I had it, I'd give it to you. A gate's made for opening, after all. And, of course, there's no double. Ah, uh, got to wait for maintenance to make their call, Miss Walker. In a week or two. <laughs> no way. Colonel, you can't repair it, can you? I really need coal, you know? No, sorry. All that mechanical gubbins, motors, engines, not my thing. That's a maintenance job for a maintenance man. My friend who's with me came by here once. His name's Hans Varlberg. You don't know him, do you? I haven't been here for long. Okay. We're going to keep on going, pushing northeast. A great journey to an improbable place. I actually think I'm just keeping an old man company in pursuit of his final dream. Ah. People like you, Miss Walker, end up never going home. Ooh, foreshadowing. Tell me, Colonel, are there a lot of trains that pass through here? Not really, but then I've not been here for long. How do I get down there, then? Oh, not the most advisable of moves. All the undesirables on the plateau wash up in our little town sometime. And I'd rather any lowlife stay down low. I don't think I understand, Colonel. I'm just a soldier, Miss Walker. Carrying out a soldier's orders. What does that even mean? There aren't any other travelers just passing through here? Passing through to where, Miss Walker? After this stop, there's nowhere left to go. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with, Okay. <laughs> we'll leave him be. So I wonder if we have to fix this candy machine here. 625. I wonder if that's important. I'm going to write that down. 625122. That could be a phone number. Maybe we should call them. What do you think? Use our handy dandy cell phone? Let's see here. 625. Ooh. Might be too soon, you know, too premature, but why not? Thank you for calling Candy Ross. Our offices are closed for the winter season, but we'll be delighted to deal with your order at the thaw. In the meantime, why not try our delicious Hoing Ing, the bite-sized Asian fish candy with the sugary taste, or our hazelnut stuffed Klondikes, or even our Canadian specialty, Honey Katalas. Yum, honey katalas. Actually, I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's go back here. Maybe there... What would that key be for? Is there something that was locked over here? Oh. Oh, it could be one of these uh, machines here. Try. Oh. Key. Key. Oh, we found money. How does that help me at all? 
This thing's stuck. Uh oh. That can't be good. So we're gonna have to deal with our putting the money and the money back. <gasps> it's a Canadian quarter. Oh, that's so good. Look at all these other. I wonder. I mean, they must be real, right? Like these would be for other countries. Tell me if you recognize any other country. That is definitely a Canadian quarter. Love it. I want to use it. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> did it work? Candy. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I like this one with a hole. We'll put that one in here next. More candy. I don't know if we have to use this one here. I don't know, I'll try this one. Oh, that one didn't work. Oh, it this keeps thing's... coming out here. Maybe it's because this drawer's open, this doesn't work. Alright, we'll just keep pushing through here. One more to go. But I got candy. Using my Canadian quarter. This thing's... Darn, darn, the candy machines. Now what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Maybe Oscar can help us. Oscar. You over here, buddy? Try this one more time. Oh, who's this down there? Hello. Hi. My name is Kate Walker. Hi. My name is Malka. Melka? Hi, Melka. I'm Kate Walker. And you? Uh, you are Malka who? Malka. Just Malka. Do you know who's got the key to the gate? If you give me a present, I'll tell you, Kate Walker. I'd love to, but you're down there and I'm up here. Well, you'll just have to find a present that comes from up there. <laughs> Oh, candy. Okay, that definitely is a good candidate. Let's just talk about some other things first. Do you know how that machine over there works? No, Kate Walker. Maybe you've seen other people use it. Yes, when the trains stop. But as they aren't stopping... The trains are not stopping. Why is there a gate that stops us going any lower? It's not a gate that stops you going down. It stops people going up. Hmm. I see. The old colonel says that people down here are all low life. That's rude. Do you want to look around the train? Are you going to take me away with you on a journey? No, I can't do that, Malka. You know why. In that case, I don't want to see your train. I understand, Malka. Let's not talk about it again. Wow, Kate. Tell me right now what you want. It'll be much easier. I really want Katala's, Kate Walker. They've got some in the shop. Katalas? <gasps> What's that? Katalas. That's what they are. Candies. You don't know them? They're great. That's why the Canadian Quarter worked. <gasps> so good. We have some. Malka, I think I've found what you're looking for. Throw it down, Kate Walker. Throw it down, Kate Walker. Sugar candy. Catch! You've only got one chance. Oh wait, she's got the key? Oh no, she's gonna put it on the balloon. Wait, how does she have the key? Okay. Well, let's just not waste any time and go and, uh... Unlock the gate over here. That Canadian candy. For the girl. Gate key. Excellent. Let's go downtown here. 
Kate Walker is in trouble. We've got to go look for her. Find someone. I don't know who. Someone spunky. Yes, sir. We've got Nick Canton, a detective. He's already worked on some tricky problems. He was good. Yeah. He might just be the ticket. Take care of it right now, John. Get him out there. Right, sir. Hell, what is going through that kid's head? Yeah. Hello, Canton? We've got a job for you, uh... How shall I put it? A special job. Special job, finding Kate. Good luck with that. Ah, oh, that's Melka, isn't it? I believe it is. Hi Do there. you like your candies, then? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Do you have any family, Melka? I'm big enough to take care of myself. Hey, don't get mad. It was just a question. And anyway, of course I've got family. Zirkos, he takes care of me. Because my mama, she's dead. Aww. Who's Zirkos? Tell me, is Zirkos kind to you? Yes, very. He is my friend. Has he been living in the village for long? When my ma and me came here, Zirkos looked after us. That was a long time ago, you know. Mm hmm Yeah, I understand. No, you don't. You must be really rich, and you must have thousands of friends in America. So, what are you doing here, Kate Walker? I don't know. I'm miles from home, and I don't really know where I'm going. It's crazy. Yes, Kate Walker, but there are loads of people who don't know where they're going. And they are all crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to Siberia. That suits you as a destination? Hmm. If one day you return to America, you must take me with you, Kate. Oh, so she's not interested in Siberia. Do you know a place called Siberia? It's a land. They talk about it in kid stories. It's so far away it probably doesn't exist anyway. From what I've heard, there's fields of blue grass as far as the eye can see. And mammoths. That's not right. Grass is green. Or yellow in the fall. Blue grass is silly. Either way is fine with me, Malka. You really are a strange lady, Kate Walker. Maybe. Do you know who could show me how this coal machine works? No, it's an old machine, Kate Walker, and it smells. <laughs> oh, this kid's adorable. Maybe there's someone who knows how this machine works? Not Circos. He's too small to press the button. <laughs> the Berghoff brothers, they must know. They know everything. But I don't like them. They are not nice. Okay. Who, where are they? Why do you say there are bad guys here? The Borgoff brothers are liars and thieves. And they're nasty and they smell. Especially the little one that walks like a penguin. You shouldn't make fun of people, Malka. The big one isn't nasty, though. He's really stupid. A big dumb Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> the Borgoff brothers could maybe give me a hand. Why not? They're as dirty and smelly as the machine you want to mend. I'm gonna see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. Thanks, Malka. Okay, let's go and take this. This is the bottom of the Out coal of machine. Luck. The can's empty. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere to fill it. Well, maybe we need to, like, get this machine working or something. A petrol-driven generator. Now, where could I find some fuel? Ah, so we've got the empty jerry can, but we need to fill her up. Let's see. Nope. Oh, there's no more gas. Not That's working. You get some gas. Hey, who can uh, offer us up some gas then? Who's this guy? Maybe we'll go inside here. Hello? It's a bar. No, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. This way. Hello? Um, good evening, sir. 
Good evening, milady, and welcome to the famous Circus Cabaret, haven of all known pleasures and human arts. How may I be of service to you? I've just arrived here. My name's Walker, Kate Walker. You have a charming little town. Uh, well, Miss Walker, allow me to wish you a charming sojourn in our charming town. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be around long. I've got to get going again soon. Hmm. I want to check out these horses, too. Mr. Sirkos, I really need to get some coal to continue my journey. But the generator that operates the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. Sorry, my lovely. Here you will find the finest range of vodkas known to man. The sweetest distillations from the furthest flung corners of our Russian holy land. But vodka, of course, only stokes the heart and belly. No good for generator fuel. This is one strange town you live in, Mr. Sirkos. Only folks come to this town are folks just passing through. Often as not, cagey folk come here buying and selling or wheeling and dealing and having themselves a fine old time. After this town, there's nothing but snow, Miss Walker. Nothing but snow. Mr. Sirkos, say, do a lot of trains pass through here? Not now. Of course, once upon a time, that line was quite a thoroughfare. Now, it's good as abandoned. People going to know you in town, Miss Walker. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. Okay, Sirkos. I want to see these horses in action. Interesting. Uh... No, that doesn't... What's going on here? Why is this... Maybe we have to fix those. Uh, what's with your horses, buddy? Mr. Sirkos? What can I do for you, miss? Talk to me about the horses. Mr. Sirkos, those horses on the stage are strangely familiar. Before, I had a performing monkey, but he died at the end of the fall. Climate here's too rough and tumble for intelligent animals. Without my monkey, my cabaret was a sham. But the show must go on, so I dug out these old automatons. Been pretty successful in their time. Let's get them back on stage, I said. It's their mechanism, though, very delicate to regulate, takes several hours. But I invite you, Miss Walker, to watch my new act, Horsebreaker to Mechanical Stallions. <laughs> okay. Your clockwork horses, Mr. Sirkos. They look so like something a dear friend of mine might have made. Uh, maybe your dear friend is my dear friend. What's his name? Hans. Hans Varlberg. Hans Varlberg? Well, I never. It's been years since I've had any news of him. How's he going? Very well. We're traveling together. Oh, Miss Walker. Can you tell Hans to come up here? Make an old showman mighty happy. If he could turn a screwdriver to them, their clockwork horses, cause I don't know diddly about automatons. Sure, I'll pass on the message. But I can't promise he'll come. We're kind of short of time, Mr. Sirkos, you understand? Of course, of course, Miss Walker. But tell him anyway, would sure make my day. We will keep that in mind. You do understand, Mr. Sirkos. Without coal, I can't continue my journey. There's really nothing I can do, Miss Walker. I'm mighty sorry. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. I want to see your horses in action. Okay, so let's get out of this bar here. This makes me think of uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, the Nazis are going to come through in a moment. And then we're going to set it on fire. Hi, Malka. Malka. You want to talk to me? To you, yes. Malka, do you know anyone who has gas here? No, Kid Walker. You see, I need gas to get that coal contraption working. <laughs> Not me. I don't touch that machine. It smells. 
I'm gonna see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. <laughs> 